Okay, this video will talk a little bit about electrical ground and clear up some of the confusion people tend to have around this point. So you should recognize this symbol, and this symbol does not always literally mean that your circuit is physically electrically connected to the ground. Well, that can be the case in building wiring or uh, appliances that are plugged into a grounded electrical outlet. It's clearly not the case in a portable battery powered circuit or a mobile robot where there's no physical connection to the ground. So what exactly does that mean? And ground is a reference level. It's telling us where are we defining zero volts. Remember that voltage is technically a potential difference between two points. So while we might pretty frequently talk about voltage at a point, just a single point, it is implied that we mean relative to ground. So for example, in most battery powered circuits, if I just have a very simple circuit here with a battery and a resistor. If I ask you, what is the voltage at node A, it is implied that I am asking you what the voltage is relative to the negative terminal of the battery. So even if I don't have that ground symbol drawn on there, it's implied that if I ask you about the voltage at A, I'm asking about the voltage difference between those two points. Now, if I wanted to be explicit, I would draw the ground symbol connected to the negative terminal of the battery, and then that means that that's what I'm defining as zero volts. So the difference between ground and point A is going to be A volts anyway, because A minus zero is just A. Now, another way to think about this is think about how we define elevation. So if I have a mountain, and I say the top of that mountain is at an elevation of 10,000 feet here on Earth, it is implied that I mean relative to sea level, which is where I've defined zero feet. And if I have some trench at the bottom of the ocean that, say, is a thousand feet deep or a thousand feet below the surface of the sea, if I'm following my sign convention that up is positive, then that means that the bottom of the ocean there is at negative 1,000 feet. And what you'll notice there is that I can redefine zero to be wherever I want. I could move zero up and down. Sea level is arbitrary, but that isn't going to change the fact that there's an 11,000, oops, an 11,000 foot difference between the top of the mountain and the bottom of the ocean. So the one exception you will see to this case where ground is just the negative terminal of the battery is when we have two batteries in series or two voltage sources in series like this. so say i have two nine volt batteries connected in series like this in certain circuits it's just a little more convenient or more intuitive to define ground as in between the two batteries like this oops so that gives me zero volts in between them plus nine volts up here and minus nine volts down here. Now the voltage difference between any two points in this circuit does not change if I define ground to be somewhere else. So if I define ground down here at the negative terminal of this battery, so now I'm saying that is zero volts, that gives me nine volts here and 18 volts here, this is where you now need to be careful because, and remember that voltage is a difference between two points. So this circuit on the right here doesn't somehow have more voltage in it than the one on the left because I have an 18 instead of a nine. The voltage difference between any of these two points is still nine volts in both circuits. So that's where you really need to keep track a voltage being a difference between two points and not get confused that just because you're seeing a bigger number over here that the voltage in this circuit is somehow higher than the voltage in the circuit on the left. Finally, for big messy circuits, it is common to draw multiple ground symbols just to save space. So for that simple circuit I have up there on the left, it would be equivalent for me to draw this. Oops. PowerPoint decides to keep advancing, and I don't know why. Equivalent for me to draw this. So one ground symbol on the negative terminal of the battery and one ground symbol on the bottom terminal of the resistor there, and it is just implied that those two grounds are connected. So I just didn't draw the line, which doesn't matter that much for a tiny circuit like this, but you can see how that would be useful 
if you have some much bigger, messier circuit, I'm just going to draw an arbitrary bunch of resistors here. You know, say all these things are connected to ground. I don't know, I have a capacitor, who knows. All these things need to be connected to ground, and it just starts to get messy if I'm drawing lines all the way back over to a single ground, single ground terminal. So what you might see is individual ground symbols scattered throughout the circuit, but it is always implied that those are all the same ground. They are all connected. We're only doing that to save space and avoid having messy lines all over the circuit. Sorry, I don't know why the PowerPoint slide decides to keep advancing there.